hello everybody welcome back to another video and in today's video we'll be taking a look at how you can add SEO to your Next.js application and by adding SEO you make your Next.js application a lot more reachable to people and adding SEO and those meta tags and those link tags makes it a lot more attractive when you share it on social media so like when you share it on Twitter it shows a preview of what is the website and then you get the cover image and the title description you don't get it normally you have to add SEO for that now in Next.js when you want to add SEO it's quite hard because what you do is you go for example in index.js I have this project scaffolded out uh, now in the head component you can add SEO like the title you add description you add the link which shows up right which shows up when you share it on social media of course or maybe not even not but uh, when you have to add the open graph title and then you know open graph image when you share it on Twitter uh, then you add to tw add then you have to add the meta tags for Twitter and it becomes a very very big component very huge component which in my opinion is not very good so what we can do instead is use an npm package so what we have here is Brad Garopi's next SEO package now this package it very very simply comes down to how you can add SEO to your next app very easily very quickly so what you can do is you can just install it and then you can go to underscore app.js now this is optional you can go to underscore app.js and then you can add the SEO component first import it and then add it and if you go to about.js for example uh, another page and you want to add a different description for about you can just put the SEO component there and then add the description as a prop so you just pass in the props and it does all the job which is really nice so let me show you a demo first of all we are going to install it so let me just copy the name Brad Gilopi next SEO and because this project is scaffolded out with yarn I'm going to say yarn add and Brad Gilopi next SEO now, if you are using TypeScript it comes along with the type de definitions so you don't need to worry about installing another types package and it's done so now let's run the development server so I can just say yarn dev or npm run dev we can uh, you can choose whichever you want and then localhost 3000 that opens up so it will open up and until it does let's go ahead and the first thing I will do is I'll remove the head component and then I'll remove the import and then save the file now you won't have anything in your SEO so what I have done is I have opened them up side by side so that you can see clearly what's happening uh, until it loads let's talk about next SEO so what we have here is simply the index.js and as you can see I removed the head and I don't know why it shows an expected end of input so yeah anyways so now you saw that we removed the head component if you take a look at the head tag right over here you have got some meta tags you know the default ones but you haven't got the title you haven't got you know the default ones that we had and right over here the title is also localhost 3000 it's not what it was so what we can do is we can just go ahead in the underscore app.js and let's wrap this around you know fragments react fragments and then let's import and use SEO so what I'll do is I'll just say import or let's just import it above the CSS so we're gonna import SEO from next SEO Brad Garopi next SEO and then let's go ahead and add the SEO component according to the docs so let's go to the docs again I leave this link in the description so that you can check that out and let's go ahead and grab you can even make this empty so it does nothing okay it does not render any SEO tags it will be empty and then let's add this one copy and paste and save and pretty or formats it for me and get back 
and it will add the title and a description so if uh, if you take a look you've got title and description it even adds the OG title OG description which is also really nice and then even Twitter title and Twitter description which is required to sh when you share it on Twitter it shows you the preview and it is required so once you have added the title description you can check the other props so these are you know different props you can add Twitter image Twitter site Twitter card so let's just add some more stuff uh, and then we'll wrap up this video so what we can do is let's add the keywords and keywords is basically an array of keywords so you, this is how you define keywords so let's say I want to say it's the next JS and then I say my name Usman and then boilerplate something like that so that is our keywords and it will be added the meta tag with the keywords will be added as you can see meta named keywords and then you have got the content which is really nice and then we've got the icon so let's not forget the icon which will be slash and then uh, it's going to be favicon.ico then we'll you can even add an object for Facebook so Facebook and then you can add the type URL and image but for the sake of this video I'm not gonna dive into Facebook and instead let's add for Twitter so for Twitter you can add first of all the card which is you know it's not important so card summary and then site is going to be your own uh, username which is max programming one in my case and then it's going to be the other one is image which is really nice so you can you can add an image on in your public folder and then you can add an image in your public folder and then you know add that in image so let's just say vercel vercel dot svg in this case and hit save and when you get back you'll see that all of these meta tags have been added so this is for the icon this is for image site and card and this makes our app a lot better when you are sharing it on social media on discord whatsapp twitter facebook and it makes it a lot better and it was just a component and that's it you don't need to do any configuration just import a component and use it that's how easy it was now there is one more package though if you want to uh, dive more deeper and then uh, if you want to make it and if you want to customize it a lot lot more there's another package which is next SEO just next SEO uh, just next SEO not Brad Garrow P1 um, and it has a lot of stuff which you can add and I like this one because if you have a small site and you don't want to mess around a lot with it then Brad Garrow P1 is really nice because you just import a component and use it right in next SEO if you have a larger application you can add that you can add a bunch of stuff and I found a problem that with next SEO this package right over here I when I share it on Twitter it does not reflect the preview and all that stuff but it's fine but this one by Brad Garopi is really nice I hope you like this video let me know in the comments below if you want more next JS videos and finally thanks for watching